Good morning. We had a little bit of rain last night. And we have a little friend that joined us today, too. See our little spidey friend? Mm. Is a... That is a female fishing spider. It's lovely. In our tent. We're gonna get ready, pack up, and hopefully make it to either Mosque or Chippewa before it starts raining again. Don't die. Oh, God. quite a tough hike um, not physically but just technically um, it had rained last night so the, the rocks are real slippery and pretty much like two miles of the of the trail are all slippery rock I mean it's basically like walking on a soapy slick window that's been tilted so we're at Mosque. Right now I'm at site number seven. The original plan was to go to Chippewa, but we keep hearing about real bad weather. There's gonna be a storm coming in. Um, and Chippewa isn't quite as protected as Mosque is here. And we've got a pretty nice site. Not the nicest. The nicest site is, I would say, two and three. We got three last year. We got so lucky. Um, but this one's pretty good. It's got a, it's got an okay view. You can see three right there, I think. Yeah, that's three. So Matt's trying to get the weather right now so we can get an accurate weather forecast and then decide if we want to uh, make the trek to Chippewa Harbor. My favorite trailside snack. Cheese and sausage. With? With, with crushed crackers. With crackers. That have been cracked. Thoroughly. Still good. So we made it to Mosque Basin. And as mentioned, we had a hard time deciding if we wanted to stay here or if we wanted to go on to Chippewa Harbor like we had decided. So since neither of us could decide, we decided to use Almighty Carabiner to decide for us. We didn't have any coins to flip, so Matt flipped a carabiner and that decided that we were going to stay at Mosque Basin. So we decided to follow the mighty wisdom of the carabiner and stay here. And uh, so that's six less miles that we ended up having to do today, which is pretty nice. And it was really kind of hard to leave views like this. I mean, look at that. Isn't that awesome? It goes all the way out to Rock Harbor, Daisy Farm, where we were at this morning. I mean, you really can't beat a view like this. So we got sold in. 
both took some much needed baths. Got our laundry line up there. You can kind of see our shelter. And I feel like a new woman with my bath. I feel much better. I essentially washed, washed every bit of clothing that I have that I'm not wearing. Hopefully it'll dry out, but I have enough clothes to wear tonight to stay warm. So hopefully I won't be as stinky. Because I was getting a little ripe. But I mean, look at this place. It's so awesome. We just saw a bald eagle fly up over there. It's just so pretty. But yeah, the walk here was a little rough. It was a four mile hike but it took us about three hours because the rocks were so slippery from last night's rain. It was not physically hard, but mentally very fatiguing because you had to stay very focused and decide each and every foot placement and carefully calculate it and then test it because sometimes you would think that a foot placement was secure and you wouldn't slip and then you'd put all your weight onto it and then you'd slip. So there was a lot of near-death experiences that we both had. So there's still quite a few backpackers coming in, you can see. Uh, all the shelters are filled. So I think now they're going to be going into the tent sites, or we might be sharing the site tonight. Who knows? We shared a, a shelter last time, so we'll see. If we do, that's fine. Because we got a nice view. So we have, we had lunch, I think Matt's going to take a nap, I'm going to sit out and enjoy this, soak it all in, soak up some sun and warm up because bath, although it was very refreshing, was also very cold. So we'll see you later tonight.